what's up guys back to asking web tv so today i'm going to show you how to solve this this pc can't run windows 11 which i think many of us had come across this issue after the microsoft windows 11 event using this pc health check software which they recommend to use to check whether the windows 11 could run in your pc so even though my PC meets the minimum requirements except one, which is the TPM 2.0. So what in the world is this TPM? The TPM is a trusted platform module, which is kind of a crypto processor, which holds all your security data of some sort. So there are two types of TPM. The first one is a physical TPM, which looks like this, which goes directly into your motherboard. Uh, so different motherboards have different TPM module. So you have to refer the manual for which type of TPM module goes into your motherboard and you have to buy the correct uh, TPM module. So my motherboard doesn't have a particular TPM chip. So now let me show you that my motherboard doesn't have a TPM socket. So this is my ASUS B360D Prime motherboard and it doesn't have a TPM socket. You can see right there. So my motherboard is a no-go for TPM 2.0. So let's get to the second type of TPM that is discrete TPM. So the second type of TPM module is the discrete one which is built right into your processor. So the Intel calls it as the Intel Platform Trust Technology PTT and the AMD calls it as Framer Trusted Platform Module. So you have to enable it through the BIOS. So my processor is an Intel Core i3-8100 which is uh, released way back in 2017 so I have to enable it through the BIOS. So let me show you how to enable it through the BIOS. Mine is an ASUS motherboard. So most of the ASUS motherboard would have the same procedure. So now let's boot into the BIOS. So let's close this. So here in the BIOS, you have to go to the advanced mode, click advanced and go to PCHFW configuration inside there. Inside that you can see Intel platform trust technology. You have to enable it. Press OK. Exit. Save changes and reset. So now when we take the PC health check and click check now, oh yeah, this PC can run Windows 11. So that's what we needed. So most of the modern processors and motherboards will support TPM 2.0, both discrete and physical tpm so there is no problem in installing windows 11 but there is no luck for old pcs and laptops like this one which is a lenovo z480 which i bought way back in 2012 it has an intel core i53210m processor which is a third generation processor which is way old and this motherboard doesn't have tpm chip or socket and the processor also doesn't support discrete tpm 2.0 but it still rocks the latest Windows 10 version which is the 21H1 but I would love to see the Windows 11 in old laptops also so what Microsoft is trying to do is that they are forcing you to buy a new PC or laptop that supports TPM 2.0 but hopefully in the near future some genius or Microsoft itself would come with a solution so that we can install Windows 11 in older PCs and laptops I mean it still works so snappy like real fast with 6 gigabytes of RAM. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. Till then, it's Askix signing off.